Welcome Gemini's to your heart spread. This is a reading that reads who's on your mind, who's in your heart. And it's for mid-October range, ballpark. It's no time on the other side, but we're asking spirit around this time, mid-October, what's going on with the person that's in your heart? And I look at you and your person, first house, seven house, also in astrology, it's always on my mind. And uh, getting that energy of where you're at and where we're looking in the seventh house for the other. We're projecting our animus, anima, ideals. If we're looking for loves, this is purely love reading. You can use this. I've used it to find ancestral angels. You can do it with this very reading. If you, you can intuit it. And the, the, one, the number two card can become whatever you want to be. Your friend, your work, some aspect of the self. I've done a lot with that too. Uh, Tara will tell us whatever we want. You know, we have control over the question, which is why I always say questions are the most important thing. They're kind of more important than the answer. <sighs> wrong question gets you the wrong answer. <laughs> so the Gilded Classic Tarot. And uh, this is my oldest deck that I have. And it's been drawn to it. Mercury retrograde. We're still in shadow. Uh, and I'm just going to warm this up a little bit. Um, sorry, these are supposed to go out always on Tuesdays, Gemini and Cancer. However, I was very busy trying not to die. And I could just would like to give a shout out to Cipro. And um, I would like to say that um, I am not in endorsing their product. I just like to say what I'm grateful, and I'm grateful to not have died. It's kind of out, sinus infection, but I, it's me. I let it go on. It's in the Soul Family Read, by the way. If you want, try the Collective Soul Family Read, particularly if you relate to the heart spreads, or also do the singles now, meet the soulmate if you don't have anyone in your mind on your heart. And, uh, you know, Soul Family Read. I kind of get into the energy, uh, spirituality more than just... Uh, um, you know, love and, and romance. I want to take those pop-outs so easily don't. And I would do these together. So this is one and two. This is you, where you're at in and around relationships. And I kind of think of a baseline here, Gemini. And then this is your person, where they're at in and around relationships. And again, a baseline. And by that also, I mean kind of not only where you guys are at, but separate from your each other this is just like your own personal energy how i ask spirit to read it and people say well uh oh it might be helpful to know where they're at but why would you need to know where you're at you know where you're at well i think it helps if, if it doesn't resonate out of the shoot why well, waste your time you know but check out the soul family read and um you know come back next week uh, so that's one reason and it helps me get an idea of what's going on because the next card is going to tell me then how do you feel about this person now when you're reacting to them and how that differs from here it tells me a lot same with them it tells me a lot now we're only four cards into an eight card spread we only have a lot of information so you're coming in with the six of pentacles um and i want to say i think this is just about perfect energy you know the heart spread this is kind of reading how you're coming into the relationship around love where are you at in terms of love Pentacles are solid. Um, six is, is balanced. You've got the scales. Um, you're uh, someone... I got the feeling, this is not exactly tarot, you know, that in the past it was the seven of pentacles and you gave more than you got. You gave more than you got. Somehow uh, you've changed that. And you, you weren't the one that was taking too much. You didn't respect yourself and... I mean, you could have drawn in narcissism and all of that stuff, you know. I have sun uh, in conjunct the moon, and it, it brings this energy for me. So it's something I've dealt with, certainly. Um, but it seems to me now, in terms of love relationship, you not only have learned, uh, uh, pinnacles are solid in actual things. So you were financially probably in a better position. Why? Well, maybe you've been focusing on your own problems and bills and dreams and whatever. And so it's a wonderful energy to come into a relationship with. And your person comes in with that Knight of Swords energy. 
And as far as I'm concerned, that's wonderful too. And uh, this night is facing into the reading. You are facing into the reading. It does imply here, uh, Gemini, you may have another air sign coming. Now I say coming because Mars is action. So, and this is a communication. So this would be someone in, is going to reach out to you first. Uh, maybe, you know, already has reached out to you first. Um, with the Knight of Swords, they come at you fast with their words and hard, uh, meaning they don't take long to get to the point. Um, they don't beat around the bush. They're like, you know, I think you're hot. I think you're wonderful. Or I, I think I love you. Uh, however it goes, it's, I, it just is straight up interest in you, coming at you. And the other deck I read from, the Ethereal Visions deck, you know, it's the coming at you one, I call it. It doesn't quite work the same because the way it's uh, the artist done. With that one, it is coming at you. But this is coming at you. Um, and, you know, and it's an interesting energy. If you're in Six of Pentacles energy, it's so different from this nice swords. The one thing about Six of Pentacles, it, it's a kind of divine feminine to me. This kind of passive energy um, and very grounded energy. And this is a, like, not ground, it's a lightning, so it's not fire, but think of it like a, well, the Uranus energy, like a lightning strike. Uranus, like something quick and, you know, strong. Um, I'm not sure how you would take that. Let's see. I do consider the bottom of the deck, two of wands, just lightly in this reading. You know, there's decisions being made, past being chosen, hell, this is everyone right now. It's the astrology. We're setting a powerful 20, 30 year cycle last year, next year, and beyond everything else that could be going on in the outer world personally in our own ways. So let's see how you're reacting to them. Ten of Wands. Wow. Let me get their reaction to you. And this is looking back at you guys. The Tower. Wow. It's, it's, it really feels heavy. You've got this Ten of Wands. You're, look, you're carrying this back towards your Six of Pentacles. There's no other way to read this. Right now, I'm not going to say it's bad. You're taking on their burdens. And, and, you know, very directly, you're like, give me that. I'll carry it. I got it. And maybe they're like, ah, uh, no, come on. And you're like, I really do got it. It's not a big deal for me. It's not. You're, you got this thing covered. Your six pinnacles energy. Now, I'm not the one to get all into codependent and this and that. I think that's how relationships roll. Just be advised. It's not the kind of thing you could keep doing in a relationship forever. Uh, and it is uh, something to be aware of if this is how a relationship is starting out. But this person comes to you. And then in reaction to you, they have a tower moment. I got to tell you, I get goosebumps, you know, they, they were still involved with someone, their feelings for you went fast, I'm not saying they're insincere, it is a night, so sexual energy involved, that's the way it is, um, and them coming to you, the way they're reacting to you, caused a tower moment for them, nothing's an accident, it's all soulmates, you're soulmate, you're watching this of some kind. That's why I got this whole family read. Please do check it out. It's in the links below. It's a daily collective read for whoever resonates and goes more into spirituality, manifestation, a little less about the love and romance. But right now with you and your person, I just powerful sense this is a karmic uh, contract here. You're, you're doing exactly what you were supposed to do. And uh, it's probably in your natal chart. It's going to be in your sinistry. I do that. I love that. It's so interesting. I can almost make some guesses of what it might be if we had the time. A Ten of Pentacles now. This is your advice for your person in this relationship. This is a, Think about it as if, however you want to look at it, you know, your God, your Jesus, your angels, your guides, uh, they're trying to, they want to give you advice now, the best advice they can in regards to this person, this new relationship. And now keep in mind that the Ten of Pentacles is coming under your feeling of the Ten of Wands, which I already determined, this is your reading, in some fashion, and these are actions, you are taking, helping them. You're, look, look, their tower's in rubble. You're in there with your sleeves rolled up, rebuilding it for them. 
you know, and, and I think, you know, I'm not saying there's any fault, not at all, it's how things roll, but, you know, maybe they were hanging in there, and they were miserable, and you come along, and it's like, they just, they can't, they just brings tower down, <laughs> you know, and they need to roll, this is karmic, it doesn't mean you can be in love, be together forever, but it means it's karmic, something popping with you guys, something important, I believe that this is telling you uh, to be solid. And it's kind of saying that this relationship is solid. You know, um, I get this, like, think about it like this. Um, okay, you're coming in here, uh, Gemini, and you're solid. You, you earned these six pinnacles. You figured out things in past relationships. You made choices, two and one, making choices. Go one way, take one action, take another it's all based on your judgment. You made good ones and you got yourself into this place, you know. And um, now this person perhaps has been fast and taken rash actions in their life in general. Excuse me, <clears throat> throat with the terrible sinus infection recently. Um, thank you, spirit. <laughs> I'm even here. But so they're coming in with this knight of swords because maybe that's how they roll is fast and um but i think like there's something about your connection and again it's karmic definitely but in their minds they would think about it like as irresistible that you're the one and whatever they were still holding on to in terms of love and romance it well there it is now here's my thought before i pull the next card is going to be your person's advice for you in terms of the relationship. And this advice, to be clear, it's not so much about advice to watch out for them. This is advice for how best to make the best of the relationship with this person. Here we're gonna read how best can they make the relationship with you, the advice from their guides and spirit, Crosswatcher, if you're there. I think there may be with this one, <coughs> Crosswatcher. So, um, I think there's something here. It, look, you've got six of pentacles and you've got ten of pentacles. I'll tell you this, you're definitely dominant in this relationship, Gemini. You're coming off like a, 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 a rock solid earth person here. Um, it very likely with you, Taurus energy, you could have uh, in your personal Mars, Venus, Mercury. In any case, you're solid and it's almost like you're going to absorb this person. And it's also telling me there's 10 pinnacles for 10 wands. I know this doesn't go a lot with a lot of like the philosophy these days about codependency and everything. This is soul contract and you were meant to do this. It isn't about paying anybody back. It's balancing the energies with you guys. We're all connected. The soulmates, all of them, all of us that are here bumping into each other, done it before, and we're constantly flowing and balancing the energy. And, you know, to put it really simply, you owed them one. And you, that's what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Guys, this is amazing. Ace of Pentacles is the advice for your person. That's all they have is one pinnacle, guy. Guys, one pinnacle, that's all they got. But this is the most sincere card. Uh, this is the best, most positive card. It is a sign of Saturn in your sinistry. Saturn trying Saturn. Saturn, you know, trying Venus, uh, or any personal planet, uh, something solid. If there's any doubt, Gemini, in the sincerity of your person, don't, don't have any doubts. They are very sincere. And so I see you guys meeting each other here very well. Uh, only under the circumstances that you're picking them up because you can it's not even that hard for you uh, you have exactly enough energy to do it and how did that happen that's no accident mm -hmm. and now we look at advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole thank you spirit it's been a couple days so I've been able to do uh, readings <laughs> So, um, just look at that. I mean, I don't even need to say anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we realize that this is a dynamic in the relationship. It's this soulmate dynamic. You know, it's a whole thing with soulmates. You know, they, ne they don't really mean that we're going to be the forever person. But it, this, given the fact you have the lovers here, I mean, this is a meaningful lover relationship. You know, it's not going to be like a friend, a buddy. <laughs> it's going to be like that. That's what it's going to be like. My picture says a thousand words. Man, woman, woman, man, 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 woman, woman, whatever. There you go. Boom. It's romance. It's love. And it's on. And it's the universe saying, yes, this is what you get. There's also an element here where you provide the guns here or you provide the engine. You know, um, your person may, uh, their contribution energetically to meet that is they uh, took a, a big uh, risk and um, they underwent uh, the change. And uh, I get the feeling too that now this is going to put you guys in the position. Let's shuffle a bit before I do the outcome. But I get the feeling you guys now are going to be in the position of a white page. You know, they don't have any energy with them. You know, you balanced it. And now they have with your help. Oops, how it rolls. And uh, now you have a blank page and the universe is saying, why don't you guys hook up? I mean, I don't have to say other than that. It's like, I think there, it's like, you know, I think like there's a reason why you guys uh, met up and why uh, you went in and saved them and everything. I don't want to take those. And so this is what the universe is saying. So if this hasn't uh, been consummated, it's kind of like saying, you know, you why not go ahead and pull the trigger on that? Okay. You know, it's all about energy. You know, they didn't have things, resources, but, uh, you know, by doing what was necessary, what I get out of it, they had to put themselves in a risk to let go of an old situation. Brought the tower down on them. That's why they're afraid to let go of the risk. They did all of that because they saw you and they realized they want you and they realized why am I having this life when there's this other life with Gemini that I know is the one I want. And so that's their contribution. But believe they're all in. Spirit's advising them. Tell them. Share this reading with them. Or if you're cross-watching, your advice is take what you've got now. It might be one brick from that tower that you carried with you down the road. And you start building your six pinnacles, ten of pinnacles together. Together. Four cups. Well, outcome of the heart spreads the four cups. Now, this is in a composite position. It might speak to the fourth house being significant in your composite chart. It could also speak to in your composite. And if you do look at this, uh, if you want to read, please, I'd love to do sensory readings. But if, if you're familiar with it, look, look at your composite chart. You know who you're thinking of here. And see if there isn't something significant going on in the fourth house. Planets there, sun there or your cancer rising as a couple. And this, uh, I think this is good here. It means like, I think with the four cups, you're uh, emotionally kind of gonna withdraw from the world and it's coming over the lovers here. It's not a rejection of each other. Um, uh, it oh, also could be a bubble relationship, which you often see in a third house, Venus in a third house, in a composite. Because these two cards, you know, the seven and eight, I think speak more to the composite energy over these first six cards are more like sinistry energy going back and forth. And um, so now you have an outcome where you become emotionally, I like it because you're not drained. You're just, and you're probably resting uh, together, you know. It may have taken some energy here to get together. It does in all relationships. Uh, move in together, get a house together, get uh, used to coordinating things with each other, you know, um, kind of energy. And so I see you both like kind of take, could be like a honeymoon energy too with the Four Cups. You know, you're just like, because you always think with the Four Cups, he looks pretty darn happy. Why does he want, you don't want anything. I'm just good right now. And it's also a little bit like that feeling after you have really good sex and you're just kind of laying back, I don't smoke cigarettes, but you know, the, 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 
movies and stuff, you know, smoking a cigarette, and ah, you know, just a little bit of that energy here. Yeah. Maybe you guys have been holding back, and that's going to end soon, and it's going to be really sweet and emotional. So thank you, Jim and I. Like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, all of that nonsense, and uh, really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you.